welcome to another caffeinated entertainment video. This is the book review for Joe Nesbo's The Red Breast, Harry Hole, uh, Inspector Harry Hole, book number three. This is a Norway uh, Swedish detective classic series. Um, basically, Harry Hole is an embattled detective uh, who is an alcoholic kind of a wayward soul in life but a damn good detective maybe the best detective on the entire Oslo police force uh, this book is different than the bat and the cockroaches that I read books one and two because this book deals with flashbacks and uh, time jumps I felt a bit like a time lord like a Doctor Who time lord uh, jumping around in the book but Joe Nesbo handles it quite well in the sense that he, um, in the sense that he does a very good job in making it known which timeline you're in, and at the end it all interweaves into the proper bow, wrapping up the entire book. So no fear in that. Let me just say this is an edge, edge of your seat th thrill ride of a, of a book, and a book that if you like detective crime thriller fiction you need to read the Inspector Harry Hole series by Joe Nesbo. I liken it to um, the Kurt Wallander series which I've read Dogs of Riga and um, the Hangsman's Noose or something like that are Faceless Killers and Faceless Killers <laughs> and the Dogs of Riga books 1 and 2 in that series those series are very, very good. Uh, I know the Joe Nesbo books are about to come into a movie, The Snowman. Book number eight in the series is about to be made into a U.S. theatrical release. Um, I like that Harry knows he's damaged, but he also knows that he's the best detective for the job that he's doing and for what needs to be done. So, it's very, very good. The narrator in the audible version, Robert, Robin Sachs, I think his name is, uh, is very good. He's a little bit hard to understand at times, and the beginning of the book is a little bit hard to get into until you really get a grasp on the timeline and the way that Nesbo sets up the threads and the way you're going to bounce back and forth. There are 10 parts to this. This book is a tome. It's over 600 pages. 638 pages if my Kindle is to be believed. Because uh, I, I did both read it on Kindle and listen to it in Audible when I couldn't read. It is a very enthralling read. I couldn't put it down. It It is grittier and darker than most American crime fiction because I found that over, I found that European crime fiction is a lot darker and deals with like things like alcoholism and rape and like not being good at your job and your family leaving you and, and the darker dregs of society that cops go through more than I would say like the John Sanford Lucas Davenport novels or the Michael Connelly Harry Bosch novels. Although those are great too, I'm not saying they're not, and they have their trials and tribulations too. They do not um, get as dark as, say, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, or Faces Killers, or the Harry Hole series. They just don't get as dark, they don't get as grim. Uh, they don't explore the deep depths of the internal psyche as the European novels do. Which I think gives them a different flavor, a different feel, and a lot of awesomeness. Uh, and I also feel that it gives them a different, I don't want to say tone, because it's not tone, but a different flow, kind of. It, it makes it better in that sense, in that arc. So that's what it does there. Um, I'd have to give 
the red breast because they do explain what the red breast is. The red breast is uh, essential to a part of the story. Now, a major part, but to unraveling the mystery, the red breast is essential. So I'm not going to spoil it here, but I will say this: the red breast is important. Joe Nesbo is good. I will be continuing on with the series. I give the red breast a very well endorsed four stars out of five. I recommend this book to anybody who likes crime th fiction, psychological thriller fiction, uh, because it is very psychological. It is very dark. It'll it messes with Harry Hole's mind, the criminal's mind, and a little bit to the reader's mind. Like it, 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 it. This book in this series, every book I've read in this series has stuck with me. I cannot recommend this series enough to make it understated enough that this series is amazing. But without further ado, I'm going to call an end to this review because there's not much more I can say without spoiling it. And I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't read it. All I can do is wholeheartedly give it two thumbs up, four stars, go out and read the book, go find the book in many covers. The cover's been at my right the whole time. Cover, you've been a, you've been a good co-host sitting there all quiet. I appreciate that. And... I'll see you in the next review. Leave a like and comment down below whether you've read any European fiction or the Harry Hole series or the Kurt Wallander series or um, that kind of stuff. And let's start a discussion down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. They're up at 12.30 in the afternoon. Uh, my local time, 10.30 p.m. 10.30 a.m. Pacific. Uh, with that said, have a good night, and I will see you again soon. Happy reading to all, and can, by the love of God, have a um, have an interaction with the written word or the spoken word at some point this week. Just go enjoy a book and enjoy yourselves. Have a good night, and I'll see you next time.